In Mario Kart Wii's time trial mode, each track has two types of ghosts, beginner and expert. In today's video, I will be trying to beat the expert staff ghost for every Nitro track with the character vehicle combination that they use. I will get one attempt at every track and I can't use any glitches. Huge shout out to Beansart64 for the inspiration to make this video and make sure to check out his in the description below. Let's get started. Starting off the video, we have Luigi's Circuit. Where we have to use Luigi and the mock bike. Now I believe the time that we have to beat is around 119. So if I just have good lines and take the ending shortcut pretty well, it should be a pretty easy record to beat. Ooh, that, that was pretty close, but you know what? It works, it works. A little over 25 for lap one, not too bad. Ooh, okay, that might that might be kind of bad. Yeah, that was way worse than lap one, but I feel like I feel like we're still good. We sh we should still be fine. Okay, Whew. not too bad, and that should beat the record there. We beat we beat the expert staff ghost by about. Four seconds? Not bad at all. Alright, and for the Moo Moo Meadows, we're on Baby Daisy and the Bullet Bike. And the time we're trying to beat is 125.909, and that is definitely not a great start to this. But hopefully, we can make a little bit of time up off that burnout. Just by taking a nice lines and a nice grass cut up here. Ooh, that was pretty close. Ah, uh, this is not good at all. And this is one of the easier tracks too, so... I might be getting an L pretty early on. 32. Oh yeah, that is definitely not a good lap one. But... That was pretty nice. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's lap one. Okay. I thought the mole was going to be my way there, but it wasn't really. Cows. Okay. Grass cuts. Ooh, okay, that was really, really close. Ooh. Get the mini turbo. Ah, oh, we were just off. We had a 126.163. We were off by about 0.2 seconds. So, unfortunately, that is the first L of the Nitro tracks. So, we're currently 1 for 2. Now we have Mushroom Gorge with the first cart of the challenge with Toadette and the Mini Beast. And we're supposed to be beating 201.011. Okay, not too bad. Just gonna mess up on these mushrooms. Go. Just gonna do the usual mushroom strats. And I'm definitely not taking gap cut on a cart, so I'm just gonna do this little grass cut here at the end. Do a little bit of snake in, why not? Ah, uh, actually, that might have hurt me a little bit, but we can recover. We can recover. Oh, actually, I can't get that mini turbo. That sucks. Right, off the mushrooms again. Okay, that was pretty good. I didn't land in the grass that time. Ah, I didn't get the orange mini turbo. That might cost me a little bit. This is looking to be very close. I don't get mushroom section. Okay, that was so close. We beat it by about 0.5 seconds. But I will take that. That makes it two for three. Now we have Toad's Factory with Toad and the Blue Falcon. Not gonna lie, I haven't really used this vehicle probably in like 
10 years. Maybe even more than that. So I'm not really sure how it handles. So hopefully I figure it out. Oh, that was a bit too early. We got a nice orange knee turbo. Woo, okay. Almost ran into the wall there. I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna trick off this, just to make it uh, easier for me. We'll just use the shroom at the end to avoid the air time. 43 second lap, not too bad, not too bad. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. Gonna be safe here, no snaking needed. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be a little rough. Okay, use the mini turbo to kind of bail me out there. Oh, okay. Do not like the drift on this thing. Forty-two. Okay. Come on, don't hit it. I hit it. No, that's not good. I thought I was just barely going to be able to pass by there, but I guess not. Okay, box. Chill. Yeah, I don't know about this one now. I feel like it's going to be really, really close. Also, I hate this turn. Dang, I wasn't even close, actually. I was like five seconds off. That is wild. I do not know what the expert staff goes did for this one, but they beat me by a pretty good margin. And now we're starting off the Flower Cup with Mario Circuit. Uh, using Mario and the Sprinter. And we're trying to beat the time of 133.702. A little bit of a orange mini turbo farming right now. I'm just gonna do like the regular cuts at the end that I take with spear. Just cut off this little turn. Okay, just I'm just being very careful not to hit the Goombas because that will pretty much end this run. Go outside, so I'll hit that Goomba. Another turn skip. Pretty good. Okay. Almost lost control there, but we're good, we're good. And I just realized I don't think snaking's like optimal on this vehicle because the mini turbo stat is so low. So I probably won't do that at the end here. Dang, and I lost this one too, by a little over a second. Well, we're not doing too good so far. We really gotta clutch up. Okay, here we are in Coconut Mall using Daisy and the Wild Wing. Trying to beat the time of 213.333. So hopefully, you know, we've been losing quite a bit. Hopefully we can make a comeback here, get another win. Okay, let's go. Oh, there we go. That was nice. I don't really know the cycles all too well. I literally bounced over the boost panel. Somehow didn't get hit by the car there. We'll take it, we'll take it. I think we're making good pace. I think. Whoa, okay, that was odd. But I don't think that lost too much time, so I think we're good. That might have, though. So we need to hurry up and get our speed back up. Okay, bumpy stairs. Okay, I can get two boost panels here. That's good. Okay, that's not, though. Yeah, oh no, that's definitely not good. Gonna have to have a really good lap three here. Okay, 
Okay, can I get a good cycle? That's not that good. Uh, we barely lose because of that lap two. We're off by one second. Uh, hopefully we can turn my luck around on DK Summit. And here we are, DK Summit. My favorite track in the game. We're working with Donkey Kong and the Flame Flyer. We're trying to beat 217.546. So I'm just going to try to do the same strat that bikes do. Try for a little trick off here. Didn't get it, but you know, it's fine. That's fine. Get a couple tricks off here. Trim through here. Definitely going to be going for single cuts. Okay. Bits. Bit sketchy, not gonna lie. Come on. Okay, that was good. That was pretty good. No, hopefully I can stick to the zipper this lap, because that's gonna save me a lot of time. Okay, yeah, that works out, that works out. Check the lower tricks, I think the second one, but that should be fine. Okay. Whoa! Okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. I think we're still fine. Just stick to the zipper. And then get the trick. You know, that's... It's okay, it's okay. We'll just snake a little bit. To make up for it. Should still be on pretty good pace to beat this record, though. Okay, I like that, I like that. Come on, okay, there we go. Forgot all the tricks. All we really needed. Okay. Dang, dude, why is it so weird with cards? Okay, just go, get the zipper, get the zipper, okay. No, shy guy, okay. Okay, yeah, we should be good. We beat the record by roughly four and a half seconds. Not too bad. And that finally gives us a win. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we're, we're on the, we're on the, uh, upward spiral of making the comeback here. And now we're at Wario's gold mine, still using the flame flyer, but we're using Wario instead. And the time we're trying to beat is 204.800. So, let's see if we can make that happen. Okay. Whoa, I, I'm surprised I didn't hit the wall there. I might just use the shroom here since it's kind of like a straightaway. Um, I don't think I'm going to try for the alternate route. It just seems kind of... A bit difficult with the card. Okay. That's not good. Okay, not not too good of a lap one. And that wasn't too good either, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can, uh... Okay, 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 okay. That was way too close. Also, I didn't lose m momentum there, so I guess that's a good thing. Okay, that was really close. If I hit that minecart, this run would have definitely been over. I don't know, this is going to be a close one. It's going to come down to the wire. Okay, okay, that's fine. Didn't lose any momentum. Speed through here. Okay, not too bad. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's over. Yeah, I was off by about three seconds there. That is unfortunate. You know, if I if I had similar lap uh, ones and two to my lap three, I think it might have been possible. But you know, very very unfortunate. Here we are, Daisy Circuit on the mock bike with Daisy. Love getting one of the meta combos, and the time we're supposed to beat is 141.362. That should not really be a problem. Especially with Daisy.
Oh yeah, that is definitely good pace. That's like a 133 pace. Might have used that a bit early. I kind of hit the wall there, but should be fine. Right, lap two. We were only like a second slower there because of what happened on the shortcut, but with another good lap, this is pretty much in the bag. Alright, and there we go. That's another win. Not too bad. It was about five seconds or so. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, now we're headed to Koopa Cape. Alright, here we go. Koopa, Troopa, and the Jet Bubble on Koopa Cape. And the time we're aiming to beat here is 241.370. Probably just take this cut right here. That's probably going to be Mushroom Swap for all three laps. That should be decent enough. Also, dang, the height on that trick. That's insane. Now, hopefully, I don't hit any of these electric uh, zappers. Because I think one hit from those, and the run's pretty much done. Just being very safe here. Ooh, okay, that's a bit close. Hey, I lose tricks is still really great to me. Maybe back into the pipe. Okay, okay, that was. Woo! I was kind of worried about that one. Uh-oh, we gotta... Okay. Thankfully, I was able to readjust in time. Or else I would've just got stuck in that waterfall. Press cut. Dodge it, dodge it, yep. Just being as safe as I can. I don't even care if I go out of the water stream. I just did not want to get shocked there. Alright. Honestly, a bit closer than I thought, but we beat it by three seconds. But let's head to Maple Treeway. Alright, now we're using Diddy Kong and the Sneakster. Don't really have much experience with this bike, all I know is that the drift might be pretty bad. Yeah, see, the making that turn was pretty hard to do, but we managed, we managed. We might have hit, uh, hit that house a little bit, but I don't think that really uh, messed up our speed. But this turn, though, this is gonna be... Oh, actually, no, that wasn't that bad. That was not that bad. I thought it was just gonna be really hard. Like if I, I really thought I was gonna like fall off on one of the sides. Okay, don't go off the zipper. This part kind of scares me. Just gotta make it on the ramp. Okay, we're good. Now let's see if I probably have to take this really wide. Okay, yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. But I, mi I missed the boost there, but I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. Okay. Okay, Wiggler, okay. No shortcut for me lap three, I guess. Okay, that's a bit awkward. And I forgot to mention, we're supposed to be beating the time of 237.812. And it's looking like that might be a difficult challenge right now. I'm gonna have to put it in a high gear. 
I don't want to try and do that time. Wigglers, I swear. Okay. They didn't inconvenience me this time. That's good. Yeah, this is definitely going to be close. I, th I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we actually did get it. We beat it by four seconds. Even with that pretty bad mess up on lap two. We're still we were still able to take the win there. Let's go. That is what I like to see. And now we're off to the last track of the Star Cup, Grumble Volcano. On Mario Kart Wii's most broken track, Grumble Volcano. And obviously, I'm not going to be doing the glitches. I'm not going to be doing the rock hop or the lava glitch, anything like that. We're just doing a normal run through of Grumble Volcano using the spear, which is a little bit difficult, but, you know, we're gonna try and make it work. You see, like, turns like that is so hard to make with the spear. Gotta go this way. Also, the time we're trying to beat is 211.852. I can't even turn, dude. I'm just gonna use this at the end. Yeah, we're gonna need a better lap than that. We're gonna need to uh, not slow down. In fact, I'm probably gonna take the top route. I think the top route's probably easier. Come on. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We still keep. We still kept the mini turbo. That's all that really matters. I still want to like, effectively use these mushrooms out without like having some sort of big risk taken, you know? That was, that was better. Still gonna be really close. I need to have a really good lap three to secure it. Okay, we're gonna go wide. Ish. Go this way. Yeah, I'll just use the mushroom there just to be safe. Oh, okay. That was way too close for comfort. Now we just gotta securely make this last turn without hitting the fire snake. Okay, we're good. Oh god. Spear off road, let's go. 208! That beats it by three seconds. I was getting really worried that last lap just because the fire snakes and hitting the off road, but hey, we got it. So now we go on to the last cup of this challenge the special cup. Dry Dry Ruins using the Sneakster once again, but with Yoshi. And the time we're trying to beat is 214.286. Shouldn't be that hard to do. Especially with Sneakster. I, I kind of got used to it after playing with Diddy Kong on Maple Treeway. So I kind of have a better feeling for how this vehicle works. And we'll just use... This has the shroom spot. Uh, that's not good at all. I didn't know the wall was there, but hopefully, hopefully we can make up that time. Forty-four. Okay, we just need to, we just need to do a little bit better than that. I think I, I, I could probably get like forty threes, honestly. If I don't like choke the shortcut. Okay. So much better that time. Still go through here. Uh kind of clipping the off-road a little bit, but that wasn't that wasn't too big of a time loss. That's a 42, not bad. I have to go a bit wide here, just to not get hit by that pokey. Get this little trick here. Okay, hopefully I can, ah, uh, I didn't get the trick. I didn't get that one either, but it's better than getting shot up into the sky from that pillar. Ooh, that was clean. That was really clean. 
I'm just gonna hold this. There we go. Not go through the middle route because that's a bit too risky. And... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We beat that by five seconds, pretty much. Not... Not a bad start to the Special Cup, which is probably going to be the most difficult part about this challenge. But we move on to Moonview Highway. I am so thankful that the expert staff ghost used Mock Bike on this course. I was really, really dreading uh, having to use a cart on this course. But thank you, expert staff ghost, for making my life a little bit easier. Because this track on a cart would probably be terrible. Okay, well, we already had an act. We almost had an accident there. I don't know the car cycles of this track, so this might be a little bit of a problem. Because I don't want to get hit, like, with a car right around this corner, you know? It's a kind of a blind corner. Let's go this way. Just use the shroom there. And I forgot to look at the time. I'm not sure, uh what the time is to beat this track. I'll have to look at it at the end, because if I try to look at it now, I'll probably hit a car, and that would not be good. I'm probably going to be safe from here on out. I think that lap one was pretty uh, lucky for me not to get hit by a car around this corner. So I'm just going to do something like this. Yeah. That works out pretty well. Use the shroom at the end. Okay. Oh, okay. There's gonna be a lot of cars coming around this corner, so I'm just gonna go wide. Yep, see, I knew it! I knew it! And that's a 158, which does beat it by around six seconds. That was actually not a bad run at all. Even beat one of my, <laughs> even beat one of my previous runs. I wasn't expecting that, but hey, I'll take it. Anyways, we go to Bowser's Castle. We finally get to use the Flame Runner. Let's go. And the time we're trying to beat is a 242.098. Which should be pretty easy, especially since, you know, using the Flame Runner. Oh, I didn't get that trick. I was trying to wheelie off. Uh, that, ooh, okay, that was a clear. Is the mini turbos going? I just realized, I could use the shroom, actually, you know what, I'll just use it at the end. Like right here. Right before the whole trick section. I think we are actually on pretty good pace, that lap one was pretty good. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, I thought I wasn't gonna stick to that zipper for a second. I would have just I would have just fell off there That would have solidified the run being an L a Shroom Okay, okay, th that's not that good 54 Okay, no, no, we can recover this. I feel like a two-second loss there isn't too bad. Uh-oh. Okay, nah. Okay, I honestly thought I wasn't going to make the zipper there and just fall into the lava, but hey. I will take it. I will take it. Okay, we just barely managed to beat it, you know. Solid, like, two and a half second difference there. 
you know, the mess up on lap two kind of made me panic a little bit, but hey, we got another W. So now we go on to the final track of this challenge, and one of the most difficult ones, might I add, in Rainbow Road. You're on Rainbow Road using Rosalina in the Jet Setter. And the time we have to beat, 244.734. And the interesting uh, change that I did from previous, previous tracks is that I'm actually using automatic. It just makes it easier. Because if I tried manual with this thing, it would be a nightmare. Also, you know, even automatic, it has its problems with this cart, but we just gotta work those out. Get the nice little low tricks. Whoa, okay. Yeah, okay. That's not good. Okay, I think it's over, bro. I think... I think there's not really any coming back from this, but... We'll, we'll run it, we'll run it, we'll, we'll run it just to be sure. I think the ghost, the ghost literally just finished. And I haven't even gotten, I haven't, I haven't even gotten past this like, little ramp section. Whoa, okay, I just randomly stopped turning there, but obviously we didn't win this one. It wasn't a good run. I fell off twice. You see, 103.56 and 104. You know, could have been way better. But hey, I'm glad. I got, I got like a lot of wins. And at the end of the challenge, I ended up beating 10 of the 16 expert staff ghosts. I definitely could have ended with a couple more wins, but it was a fun challenge nonetheless. If you guys want to see the retro tracks, leave a like on this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.